Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Stuff I didn't know I needed but Peter told me I had to have. Peter! Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Review stuff. And I'm sitting in the Meyer parking lot. I'll show you why in just a second. But I'm getting ready to go right over there to the wall <laughs> to the Walmart. To no, there's not two Walmarts sitting side by side. Can you imagine if there were two Walmarts? How would you know which one to go to? We would be in mass confusion. Anyway, I'm sitting outside of, well, I'm sitting across the street from the Starbucks. I'm getting ready to go over and try one of their new drinks. Um, I'm hoping that they have them in today. Um, did I review one the other day? I don't know if I reviewed one. Now it's been like, I feel like I have been gone forever in Arizona. I keep on wishing I knew what that song was, that country music song. I have it in my iTunes. There is no Arizona. It's by some girl. No horses, no pink painted desert. You know what I'm talking about? It's a real sad Lisa. Mel and I were talking about somebody this weekend and uh, she was like, yeah, I was telling her some story or something about one of my friends. <laughs> of course. The Nitro. The Nitro is what I tried. And she goes, sounds like a bad country song. I said, girl, all my friends' lives sound like bad country songs. And listen, and you know, then my grandma. My grandma's like a country song, isn't she? But anyway, so I'm going to go to Starbucks today and I am going to review. This, vi this video is all over the place. <laughs> I'm going to go over to Starbucks today and I'm going to review one of their two of their three new drinks because I don't know which one they're gonna have and if they don't have it Well, hell we'll just try something. We've already had but anyway, I have to show you this This is the kind of stuff that gets me so excited. Okay. I think it is so nice that Walmart Set up this obstacle course for us. Okay, so we're gonna go through the obstacle course. Are you ready? Okay? This is like driver's ad Don't you think it's so nice? They set up this obstacle course for us. Look <laughs> It makes the video a little bit more exciting. I know, I know. It's not really an obstacle course, but... Don't ruin the magic, okay? Don't ruin the magic. <laughs> Why do you have to ruin my day and tell me that it's not an obstacle course? My God. Life has but little magic in it left anyway. If I want to look at some three cones and think that there's magic... <gasps> my friends and I, back in the day, this is a true story. When we were in high school, we used to take those cones and we used to set them into people's driveways and stuff. One time... <laughs> totally forgot about this. I had these two good Judys in high school and they were twins. They were always getting into a mess of trouble. But anyway, they got straight A's. It didn't matter. My one friend that was a twin, she wanted to get into Princeton. I've told this story before and she had the grades and everything. And the essay was, are you ready for this? Compare and contrast the two sides of a penny. And she wrote, tails, or heads I get in, tails I down. And she got accepted. Could you even imagine? Hell, I couldn't even get into the community college. Okay, but anyway, I mean, I hardly even graduated from high school. But look at me now. I'm a YouTube famous YouTuber of the world. But anyway, what was I going to tell? Oh, so my friends and I one time, because <laughs> we were always playing pranks on each other, you know? So we went and we got all of these, like, realtor signs one night. This is so bad. Don't do this. Children, if you're listening to me, this is horrible. This is horrible behaviors of the world. Don't do this. You want to be a good citizen. You just want to be a good citizen, okay? This is where I'm sitting here, and then five... See, here's one of them right here going by. Five cars go ahead of me. But anyway... So we, to our, our friends that were twins, we went over to their house, we dropped them off, and then we like circled around and we came back and we put all of these realty signs up in their yard and they, their house sat on a corner, so it was like 30 of these realty signs, right? <laughs> their dad made them call every one of those realtors and return the uh, sign. Can you even imagine? They were so better! They were so pissed. That's why you don't do the pranks. You just don't do them. <laughs> anyway, so our three new drinks here are uh, the pineapple matcha drink. I really want to try that and the go the golden ginger drink. I want to try both of those. It says they're, they're both in, so let's hope that they're both in. I think I'm going to try the... Welcome to Starbucks. I'm going to get started for you. Can I get a venti iced coffee with one equal? All right. I can't use my own cup, right? No, you can't. Okay. But I can still give you the discount for you. No, you don't have to do that. That's fine. Well, Whatever. We, we're supposed to. I got oh, okay. no worries. And then, um, do you have all of the three new drinks? Um, the pineapple matcha, the gold ginger, and what's the other one? Well, I've already tried the other one. So do you have those two? Oh, the honey foam? Yes, we do have all three. Okay, let me try the pineapple matcha drink. Okay. And what size do you want to do Let me one? do a grande. All right. Anything else for you? Nope, that's it, Jake. Thank you. Cool. I'll see you up here. Okay. The grande is four ninety five, and it is 170 calories. I'm really excited about trying these drinks. I think these kind of sound like fun spring drinks, don't you? How you gonna do it if you really don't wanna dance? Get your back up off the wall. <laughs> I don't remember the words. How? Do you ever just sing whatever words you wanna sing? When we, back in the day, this is a little 
this was a little like drag queen like trick that my friends that were drag queens did that if you didn't know the lyrics she just said raspberry family friendly okay but you know the mf or word okay and then if you said that over and over and over again it just looked like you knew the words my good judy and i tanya we were watching Oprah one time, and she had somebody on. It was like country music singers of the world, like Katie Oslin and stuff like that. Do you remember and Kathy Matea? What happened to all of them? Do you remember all of them? And who's my favorite? Mary Chapin Carpenter. I love her so much. Do you love that Mary Chapin Carpenter? Oh, my God. He thinks he'll keep her. That one, do you remember that? I love her so much. But anyway, so Oprah had all these people on here. She was doing like, and that Katie Oslin sang that song, 80s Ladies. I loved that song, 80s Ladies. But anyway. Oprah, they caught her in the audience and she was singing. She didn't know not one word. Not one word. She acted like she was good GDs with all those people. She's she a liar. Oprah's a liar straight from the pit of the hell. But I love Oprah so much. You don't say that about her, okay? Hey, how, hey, how are you? Doing good. Has anybody been nasty about not being able to use their personal cup? Only like one or two. Like really? I seldom, yeah. Uh -huh. like, it's just like, I understand like trying to say plastic, but like for right now. like. Oh, I get it. I totally like, understand it. Okay, here's the joke. What's Irish and stays out all night? You know it. I don't know it. Patio furniture. Patio furniture. That is so cute. I is like it? that one. Yeah, who came up with it? Uh, Jacob somebody, said, somebody Jacob, if you could have seen his face, he was like, could you say that again? Is it? He was like, no, he was like, is it? I don't think it is. I mean, it's like, uh, what's the word? Um, like seasonal. It's like, it's March. It's coming up. Like, I get it. Have you tried these new drinks? Which one's your favorite? None of them? Which one's your least favorite? Uh, the golden one. Really? It's all turmeric. It's, I mean, it's not bad. Like, some people would like They it. sound fun, though. It's, it's fun. It's worth a try. I definitely recommend. But it's not something that I would want if I'm, like, thirsty. You know? Look at your fiancé's flannel shirt today. Hey. He, he's psycho. He's going to take it off as soon as he works a little bit hard. You know? Aww. Thank, thank you, guys. I appreciate thank it. You. Thank you, Thea. Okay, so I'm really excited about this one. Get your back up off the wall. Tell me. <laughs> I knew this girl back in the day. Okay, I used to work with her. This is a true story too. And um, she, when she was growing up, she was like, I don't like, I don't think that when you're a kid, you're a professional roller skater, but she was like in Skate Magazine or Roller Skate Magazine or whatever, like that, like in a stance, you know, and she had like the little skirt on and everything like that. And she used to, I said, what were like the two songs? And she was like, well, she would like go, okay, so this is like what she would do. I, I lived for this. Now you know me, right? So you know, I mean, you do, you know me. Okay, I mean, come on. So anyway, <laughs> oh my God, back in the day. Okay, my good Judy. She worked at the Burger King, okay? We call it the BK Lounge. And she worked with this girl named Naomi. And so Naomi and her kind of looked the same, except for Naomi was about 28 and we were in high school. <laughs> so, and we weren't, is the fact, okay? And so anyway, but Naomi gave her her, like, fake, her gave her, her ID so that she could buy alcohol. And so we would always want our good Judy to go into, like, you know, the grocery store, like Marsh or Kroger or whatever. And, Bias like Boone's Farm Wine and all this kind of stuff. Manischewitz. You remember that Manischewitz? Oh my God, we love that stuff so much, but it would make us so sick. And Purple Passion. They don't make Purple Passion anymore, but Purple Passion was two liters of Everclear and Fruit Punch. It was we, it was the answer. We loved it, okay? It was so good. And I'll get you so ripped, but I'm sober now. I'm 25 years sober. We don't talk about such things. But anyway, but anyway, um, whenever we would want her to go buy us alcohol, we'd be like, please go buy us some alcohol. And she'd be like, I don't really want to. Because she was always like scared, you know, that she'd get caught or whatever whatever, because she straight up looked like she was 16, going into the marsh with a 28-year-old's ID. And we go, come on, Naomi, don't you know me? Naomi, don't you know me? We used to call her Naomi, don't you know me? But anyway, I'm telling all these stories of my friends tonight. Here, I can have a little bit of this coffee. What was the other thing I was going to tell? I was going to tell some story, and I don't remember it. No, no, it probably wasn't funny. Anyway, okay, let's try this matcha. But this is where I always want to rewind it, and I'm like, but it was such a good story. What was I going to tell? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I just remembered such a bad story, but I can't tell it. Okay, here, we need to get a thumbnail. <laughs> that was such a bad thumbnail. Okay. Let's try this. Yeah, it's not good. Mm -mm. It's real weird. I like matcha, you know? 
<laughs> I'm matcha, matcha, like matcha. Um, it's like the pineapple and the matcha kind of work against each other and they bring out like the worst in each other. <laughs> Have you ever known that couple? I have. Um, <laughs> that couple that brings out the worst in each other. It, it like kind of coats on you. Okay. So it tastes like if you took water and put like a scoop of matcha in it and just stirred it up, which I have done, so I know how it tastes, okay? And then you took like two tablespoons of pineapple juice and put it in there just kind of like for a fact. I thought it would be like really, really fruity. It's like overpower of matcha. I mean, it's not, I wouldn't say it's like the worst drink I've ever had, but I, I wouldn't get it again ever, like ever. It's pretty bad. It's always interesting to me with all these secret menu drinks and all this kind of stuff, what, what drinks they choose to put on their menu. Like, if this was a taste test and they put 100 drinks in front of me, this would not even be in my top 90. I mean, like, it's really, it's not good at all. I don't understand it. Yeah, I'm giving it a one. I mean, and I never give drinks that poor ratings. It's, it's really not good at all. Yeah, it's not good. Mm-mm. So, oh, I give that a one. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed, okay, me reviewing this horrible SHI took drink and stories from my high school experience <laughs> of where I didn't study very often, but I had a lot of fun with my girlfriends. <laughs> so anyway, which is what high school's all about, right, Charlie Brown? Anyway, I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.